Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're gonna to be talking about frequently asked questions. And one question that we get over and over again is how can we get more men to participate in Pilates in the studio? Now, um, there are so many different ways that uh, you can get more men into your studio and what we've done in ours is have men's classes. So there were former classes that are specifically just for men um, and we can start to talk about things that are important to them. So a lot of them, the things that they do outside of the studio is really important to them mm -hmm. and they want to continue to do that with ease for as long as they feel like exploring things like biking and hiking and fishing and kayaking and golfing. Yeah. So I really like when I'm teaching the men's class is to tell them while they're doing the exercises why it's important that they do it and how it can help them um, in all of the myriad of things that they have in their life. So this is actually one for golf. So Jen, let's have some fun. Right. So I'm gonna have you, we have the magic circle we have a light spring on the reformer. We're gonna take the strap and hook it right onto the edge of the magic circle, which is perfect because of that little lip. And so what this is doing right here is it's loading the magic circle to go towards the risers. Now, first things first, actually I want you to start nice and centered, Jen, is I like to actually let people take a few deep breaths here. Find their sitting bones draping into, yes, the reformer, collarbones nice and wide. Good. Now, go ahead and start to take a turn towards the risers. Beautiful. So here is the start of a golf swing. And then go ahead and start to turn towards the springs. And so, yep, and see if you can go a little bit more. Excellent. There we go. There's some work. And so what this is doing, and go ahead towards the risers, is it's teaching the body how to wind and unwind, which is essential in any type of swing sport. So this is also tennis too. So yeah, very good. Keep the sitting bones nice and rooted. And find a little bit more weight, Jen, on the right side of your body. Ah, there you go. So doing these fine tuning motions in this small setting is really gonna translate to when they have force and velocity in what they're doing. But they have to have these skills first. And this is not an easy exercise, right, Jen? This is pretty difficult to do. And depending on what springs you choose, it'll up the intensity. But this is really gonna show them how to use their body in a direct correlation to their hobbies and sports. One more time. And twist. Here's the wind part. And then the unwind. Beautiful. And rest, Jen. And also, if you think about it too, this isn't just about golf. This isn't just about tennis. But this is about picking, you know, a bin up and turning and twisting with it and setting it down. I mean, yard work everything. So once we start to make these exercises that might seem silly or frivolous and we start to connect it into the real world and what we do, it makes it a much more, I think, viable option mm -hmm. and more interesting yep, yeah. for the guys to want to come in here and experiment with. Yeah, thank you so much you. and we'll see you soon.